Grand Rising, everyone. Welcome to another beautiful moon day, as I like to call them. Monday, honoring the moon all day. Hoping that you had a very restful weekend and you're ready to kickstart the new week. Positivity and self-care. Let's take a moment right now. Let's care for ourselves by becoming present. So sit down where you are. Take a moment. Take a breath in and sit up a little taller than you are now. Open the chest. Maybe close the eyes if it feels comfortable for you. And let's take a few breaths together now. In through the nose. Let it go. Open the eyes gently, slowly. Welcome to this moment here, this moon day. It is the 10th of July, and um, I'm here in one of my treatment rooms at Flower Massage. And today we have an exciting topic to discuss. I'm going to talk about the importance of self care. The fascinating lunar phase that we are currently in. As some of you may know, the moon is in its last quarter phase and we're in the fiery sign of Aries. Can you feel it? It's hot out there. <laughs> this combination brings a unique energy that encourages us to focus on ourselves, our needs, and our well being. It's a perfect opportunity to dive into self-care and embrace the power of the moon's influence on our lives. So as I've talked about before, and you may already know, self-care is not just about indulging in luxurious spa treatments or taking a day off. That's nice, but it's about nurturing our minds, our bodies, and souls in a holistic way. It's about setting boundaries, practicing self-compassion. You gotta love yourself. Give yourself a big squeeze right now, a hug, and making choices, prioritizing our well-being. So important, y'all. When we take care of ourselves, we're better equipped to handle life's challenges and to fulfill our responsibilities with a renewed sense of energy and we can even bring a little joy with us there. To further enhance this powerful energy, I have an exciting announcement to make. So on July 15th from 5 to 7 p.m., Seed Yoga is hosting a sisterhood intention circle here at our studio. And guess what? It aligns perfectly with the Cancer New Moon. The new moon is a great time to plant seeds of new intention. And what better place to do that than here at Seed Yoga? This event will be a transformative experience, bringing women together to connect, to share, and support one another on our individual journeys. They're so different, yet um, they share a common thread. So come join us this saturday from 5 to 7 p.m at seed yoga during the sisterhood circle we're gonna tap into that nurturing intuitive energy of the cancer new moon and it's time to set intentions releasing what no longer serves us and making space embracing those new beginnings so mark your calendars for july 15th from 5 to 7 p.m and join us here at Seed Yoga for an empowering sisterhood circle under the Cancer New Moon. I guarantee it will be an evening filled with connection, inspiration, and positive energy. So don't miss out on this incredible opportunity to nourish your soul and create lasting bonds 
within our beautiful community. Checking in. If you're live with me now, let me know that you're here. Just say hello, put a comment. It's good to see everyone this morning. To register for the Sisterhood Circle, simply visit our website, seedandflower.org, or you can call our studio at 337-426-0696. Limited spots are available, so make sure that you secure your space as soon as possible. Let's come together, let's embrace the transformative power of the moon and sisterhood. It's powerful stuff. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in today. Remember, self-care is essential and the moon's energy is here to guide and to support us. Wishing you a fantastic Monday and a week filled with love, joy, and self-care. Take care of yourself, my friends, and I'll see you at Sisterhood Circle on July 15th.